Hello friends! Today we'll see how actors of the movie The Exorcist 1973 have changed. You'll know the original names and age. I will show you how they looked then in 1973 and what's with them now in 2021. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Let's go! Regan McNeil, Linda Blair, is a possessed 12-year-old girl. The daughter of famous actress Chris McNeil, Regan is taken over by the demon Pazuzu and gradually assumes a strange, aggressive and completely different behavior that worries and scares her mother. Father Marin, Max von Saito, is a priest and exorcist who had several encounters with the demon Pazuzu and eventually became the one it assumedly feared. Alongside Father Karras, Marin attempts to save the soul of Regan McNeil, a young girl possessed by Pazuzu. Sharon Spencer, Kitty Wing, was in her mid-twenties. She attended college, where she studied Russian. Sharon has been Chris's secretary and Regan's tutor for three years and has also taught Regan some French. Sharon teaches Chris this knowledge so that she can treat Regan. William F. Kinderman, played by Lee J. Cobb, is a lieutenant and homicide detective assigned to thoroughly investigate and uncover the death of Burke Dennings. For the purpose, he befriends Father Damien Karras to assist him in the case with a religious perspective. Burke Dennings, Jake McGoran, was a well-known film director. He had a good relation with Chris McNeil. He is killed by Regan while possessed by Pazuzu, who uses superhuman strength to break Dennings' neck, turning his head completely around and throwing him from Regan. Father Damien Karras, as Jay, is a troubled priest and psychiatric counselor suffering from a crisis of faith who confronts Pazuzu and is joined by Father Merrin in his attempt to exorcise Regan McNeil, a young girl that demon possesses. He was portrayed by Jason Miller. Father Dyer, played by William O'Malley, is the university president's assistant at Georgetown University. He's good friends with Damien Karras, a fellow Jesuit priest and psychiatrist. He meets actress Chris McNeil for the first time at a rap party thrown by her. Dr. Klein, Barton Heyman, is a doctor in The Exorcist who is trying to help Regan and figure out what's wrong with her. Later at the McNeil's residence, Dr. Klein gets smacked in the face by Regan and is rushed to a hospital and is never seen throughout the rest of the film. Dr. Tenney, played by Robert Simons, was one of the doctors that attempt to treat Regan McNeil. Initially, he disregarded the possibility of a spirit and termed it as a psychological disorder, but was later left with no diagnosis, similar to his fellow doctors. Carl Angstrom, Rudolf Schindler, is a side character appearing in The Exorcist. Carl Engstrom is employed caretaker at Chris McNeil's residence. Carl also accompanied the McNeil's family during the period of exorcism and isn't seen again post the events of the movie. The psychiatrist, played by Arthur Starch, was summoned to the McNeil residence by Dr. Samuel Plain to perform a hypnotherapy on the possessed Regan McNeil. When prompted by a psychiatrist, the evil presence briefly manifests itself and assaults the psychiatrist Crouch. Chris McNeil, Ellen Burstyn, is a famous actress who lives temporarily in Georgetown in the McNeil residence with her daughter Regan. She knows that Regan killed Burke, but she doesn't want to admit it because she doesn't want Regan to go to jail or get into trouble. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please share it on social networks, like it, and of course, subscribe to the channel.